Hi and welcome to Felicia's Reviews, a channel where we talk about all things beauty, which includes makeup, skincare, and sometimes hair care. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. Today we're talking about Merit, the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. It's a foundation and concealer duo stick. Merit was kind enough to send me one personally, so this is a gifted product, but my review is going to be unbiased. They also sent me another product, which is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. But before I go into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know I had a heads up that this is a gifted product and but I still am going to be unbiased about it. I'm still going to share my honest opinions and I also want to thank the brand for sending me these products. Now we're done with that. Just a disclaimer that that disclaimer, um, let's get in with the video. Let's go in with the product info first and then we can move on to the application and the review and the whole thing that I, normally I do. Um, so keep watching. So like I mentioned before, this is a duo stick, like a concealer, foundation in one kind of a thing, which a lot of brands do. Um, what's different about this is that by the name, you can guess that it's a minimal kind of thing. So it's not full coverage. It's not exactly medium coverage. It's like light to medium coverage. If you apply it a, you know, a couple more times, a couple more layers, it's buildable. So let's get into the product description, the product info, what the brand describes it, what the brand claims and everything, and then we're going to assess all of those things, most of those things, um, into my review portion. According to their website, they have made this instead of a full coverage foundation because they want the skin to kind of shine through and you can make like little edits along the way. So if you're um, if you want coverage more in some parts of your face, you don't have to go on with the whole full face of uh, full coverage foundation. You can just do a little bit of editing over here and there. The brand also claims that this is free from the 72 ingredients um, that can potentially trigger acne. Um, I really cannot test that <laughs> part, obviously, because it um, varies from each person to person. Some people have very acne prone skin, so they might be a little bit more sensitive to even ingredients that don't uh, normally trigger acne. Um, that's not the case with me. My skin is not very acne prone, so I'm okay with it either, either way. But it's nice to know that they have taken that extra step, that extra caution, precaution, whatever you want to call it. Now some other claims that the brand has is that it is lightweight, it doesn't settle into fine lines, it's breathable, it's buildable to medium coverage, it reduces the appearance of dark spots with C daffodil extracts, and it also has some fatty acids for moisture. So that is it where um, as far as the product info is concerned, you can keep watching to see how I use this product, um, the steps that I took. Um, how I used it and everything and following it would be like an after so of how well my makeup has held up and then a review portion of the video there are gonna be um, um, sections and chapters and divisions so if you want to jump to a specific portion of the video you can do so so I have zoomed in and I've primed my face and I'm ready to go in with this foundation and uh, what I'm going to do for you guys today is set half of my face uh, while the other half is just this on its own. Um, I have used this a couple more a couple of times before and I hadn't set my face so I, I don't exactly know how it's going to perform um, with a setting powder and a setting spray. What is, so we're supposed to use like any stick foundation and they recommend using their number one brush which is a lot like a buffing brush like this. Um, this is from Baddington and this is where I'm going to use I don't have their um, brush. So I'm going to use it on on one side first to show you a comparison of how much coverage it's giving me uh, by comparing with the uncovered and foundation side. I'm just going to line my face up like this. And this is how I use a normal concealer, like a dot here, dot there. That's why I'm using it like this over here too because this is a two-in-one kind of thing. For the concealer part, I'm going to use a concealer brush that I would normally use with a liquid, uh, a liquid concealer. And in the same way that I would use it, the liquid concealer. I do have some dryness on my face, so it might cling to some patches of my 
concealer um, to my uh, dry flaky skin and I'm not judging the foundation concealer stick on that I mean it would be great if it doesn't stick on it but I know that it does so just a reminder so this is the difference between the two faces when it comes to the concealer side now let's look at the foundation side So here is a subtle difference between the two sides. This side is covered, this isn't. It is a subtle difference, it's not a huge difference because obviously it is a light uh, coverage foundation. It literally says the minimalist, so I'm not expecting a high full coverage foundation here. Uh, but I do like that it does make a bit of difference. It's like giving my skin a little bit of boost. It's like my skin but better kind of deal here. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and the rest of this side and uh, I'll use a setting spray and a powder on camera. Okay, so I am back with my whole uh, um, makeup look that I want to go for today. I didn't do much, just my eyebrows and some lipstick because I don't feel like doing a lot. I'm gonna be out in the sun and I just don't want to be all full face of makeup and everything. So now it's time to set my uh, this side of my face and I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil um, Powder. I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush like this to kind of gently sweep on one side of my face. Uh, now normally I, when I use a foundation I do go in with a sponge afterwards to kind of like uh, blend and make it all seamless. But with a stick foundation I don't think I need it that much. I don't like baking so I that's not why I'm not doing it. Okay, so that is one part of my face, one side of my face, the right side, all set. I'm not using a setting spray right now because I'm out of setting spray and I need to go get one. That's all of my makeup for today. I'm going to give you a closer up look, just like a, you know, comparison, just in case, so that when you see the after part, you can judge for yourselves where the makeup is lacking, how it has held up, how my face looks at that moment. So... I'm going to go off camera and do my uh, wear test thing. I don't need to wear this because I have used this a couple more times when I was out uh, doing some errands. And I'm going to do that the same thing today. But the only difference is that one part of my face is set. Um, so, again, get a good look. And I'll see you after um, I'm done. So I'm back after a wear test of five and a half hours. And this is how my makeup looks. It does, it kind of looks the same both on both sides, um, the powdered side as well as the, you know, left alone side. Um, I can see that it has kind of gathered over here. It's because obviously I told you that I do have some dry patches here and there on my skin and it has clung to those and it's not making my skin looking any better. <laughs> um, but for from afar it's fine but again if you look close then i can see a lot of faults with it i can see that it came off maybe around over here around on the nose area but the areas where my skin is good it's not rough or textured or anything like right over here around here and here stuff it looks pretty good and looks like it stayed in place and we're gonna go into detail about what i think to the next uh, part of the video which is going to be the review and I'm going to come back after taking all this makeup off so now that I have my makeup off I can finally dive into the review portion of this video and I'm going to start this off with my likes first and first of all I really like that it comes in 20 shades so yeah, even though 20 shades doesn't sound like a lot especially nowadays when foundations they come in like 40 plus shades 40 50 kind of shades um, but the good thing about this is that it is kind of stretchable in the skin tone so um, one uh, shade might actually work for a variety of different skin tones in that range 
Um, the shade I have is linen. And I got this because it is kind of like um light medium sort of and uh kind of has neutral tones but leaning a little bit towards warm i also love the fact that it is so soft um it's it really just glides on the skin like seriously like i'm barely touching my skin and it's, it's gliding so nicely so i love that because i don't want to be like dragging my skin along while using this product or while using any stick product really like and then number three is the blend so you can actually use your fingers to blend but i like to use a brush just because it gives more pigment um it gives you more coverage that way and then you can go in with the sponge but anyway so it's really easy to blend it's a very soft kind of blend it's not like a rigid formula that's if you use it if you put it on and you have to quickly blend it in or it's gonna like kind of set and then stay in place or look very streaky it doesn't look streaky at all i mean i really really like it and i think you should you must have seen in the application video as well in the application part that it was really easy to blend out there were no streaks there was um no like stiffness to the product grainy or something or like dryish or something it wasn't my skin is not the best right now so i did have some dry patches of skin on my own so obviously it's going to cling to those dry flaky patches but where i did not have any dryness it laid on smooth and perfect Number four is how lightweight it is. Now, of course, since it is um, kind of like a minimal kind of coverage product, um, it is going to be lightweight, but since it's also buildable, and I did kind of um, build it up a bit in the video, I did use it like twice than I would normally use it, um, just to show how, um, how much coverage it can ultimately uh, give me um it did not feel heavy at all even though i was out in the um during the day for a few hours in the houston sun uh, when it was 98 degrees and stuff and i did not feel like there was a hip, a layer of makeup on my face that's you know making me feel uncomfortable or more sweaty or, or anything um it actually was it was quite lightweight and comfortable and that brings me to number five is that it's buildable I know that it's lightweight and it's light coverage. It aims to be light coverage because that's the intention behind it anyways, the intention behind the brand in general. But um, it is, just because it's a, um, a light coverage product doesn't mean that it's not buildable. You can build it up to a medium, not to a full coverage. I don't think that um, they even intended it to be a full coverage ultimately the maximum that they wanted to deliver was medium coverage because that was that's the whole ideology behind the brand anyways so I did like the coverage that I got from this I like that it's buildable so I can use it when I just want to look like I haven't done any makeup on my face I want that look as well as a more like you know a bit more cover like more blemishes are covered and stuff but I do I I generally don't like full coverage full full coverage anyways my go-to is either light medium or medium coverage i barely use full coverage foundations you guys if you've been following me for a while you would know that i like full coverage concealers but not foundations um so yeah i i do like that it gives me that range to go you know light and then medium also it's compact it's like it's smaller than my hand so it's very compact it's it's super compact so you can throw it in your purse your travel bag your travel makeup bag or where, like you know basically anywhere it's very uh, space saving even in your makeup drawers it's going to be it's not going to be like one of those you know squarish rectangular like huge bulky foundations it's just going to take up very little space and that's what I kind of want because I am going to be traveling soon. Number seven is no settling. Like the description um, claims, it doesn't really settle into fine lines. It did cling to my dry patches, but that's a different story altogether because that was texture. That was like really rough and flaky texture. Uh, but my point is that, you know, when there are fine lines, like maybe over here around our eyes or maybe around our mouth and stuff, it doesn't settle in to make it look like a very... Um, prominent crease that some concealers and some foundations can do um again this doesn't do that for me and i kind of used it on my uh, under eyes quite a lot so you must have seen that as well that it didn't really settle in any of my lines i don't have a lot but i do have some lines like we all do and i don't think it it did anything now number eight and number nine are gonna be something that i've experienced on my own 
it might not resonate with everybody's experiences and it definitely does not it's not something that the brand claims to deliver with this product but i did kind of experience these so what are they number eight um it's pretty sweat resistant for me it did come off in some areas like uh the chin maybe and then around the nose or something but even on the cheeks it stayed on pretty well and the cheeks it, the cheeks are where i get most oily the cheeks and the forehead and it didn't um come off uh from those areas so i would say that they're it's pretty sweat resistant i'm not gonna say sweat proof because i don't think it is sweat proof nothing is no product is sweat proof completely it's kind of commendable how much stayed on um and then number nine is um it it, it had very minimal transfer so the brand doesn't claim to be either sweat proof or um um transfer resistant but i think that i when i was like kissing my baby and stuff i didn't get any makeup on her any foundation on her so that's pretty cool um uh, even when i was wearing a mask very little transfer like very um negligible i would say and that was my last like um now let's talk about my dislikes which are a couple um so the first one is actually that this is kind of like a, um, a foundation concealer duo one in two in one kind of thing and that's not really ideal for me personally that's this is a personal thing it's not personally ideal for me why because i like to use a different kind of shade for my um concealer uh darks uh to conceal my dark circles uh, as compared to when i'm using something on my face so i like different shades of concealer and foundation um i generally generally gravitate towards more like a warmish orangey kind of uh, concealer um whereas i just use like a whatever my skin tone is like light medium neutral kind of thing for my foundation why because i think that kind of shade color corrects my dark circles a lot better than a neutral shade would um, and if I use a new, if I use a kind of like a warmish kind of um, foundation on my skin, it makes me look a little too orangey, which is not what I kind of want to look like. So that part really doesn't work so well for me. It's why my concealer, I'm sorry, uh, that's why my uh, dark circles still kind of peeked through, um, no matter how many layers I put on for of this but it did kind of peek through because it didn't color correct because it's not the right shade for color correction um but it did kind of mellow it down but no color correction there so that's just a personal thing i do like having a concealer and foundation separate um i didn't do it for this video because i wanted to kind of show what this product can do um on its own and then the next um, just like I have, which is, I think it's a significant one, is the fact that it comes with very little product. So this is how much it comes with. This is how much it is, basically, uh, which isn't a lot. Even if it's a stick foundation, stick uh, product, it's not a lot. I've used it just a couple of times, so I haven't used a lot of it. This is uh, as much as it goes, and the stick is pretty thin too, so it's not like it's, there's a lot of product in um this amount so that's my complaint because it is on the pricier side it's not a super luxury priced item but it is still on the pricier side but it comes with a lower quantity which may not always be the best bang for your buck however if you think that you do not use that much foundation anyways um and a little product is fine you can like you know stretch it out for like a longer time longer period of time then i guess that's fine um but if you're a heavy foundation user, you might want something that has more quantity in it so you have more longevity with that product. You don't have to keep repurchasing it. Um, and then it's kind of, you know, more worth it for you price-wise. Um, and that is my last dislike. So, so what is the price for this? It comes... Um, you can get it for $38 for at Sephora and their website. I will have their website linked um, down below and that's an affiliate link. So if you get something from it, I will get a commission on it. Um, but anyway, my point is that it's $38 and 
it does come with a little um, a smaller amount of product than um, its competitors um, so if you want something that has more product at the same kind of price range um, then I think you should try the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick that's a really good one and it also has a more like coverage kind of thing so if you want for looking for more coverage more product at the same price range then that's your uh, better product but if you're looking for something minimal and at the same price point and the amount of product is not a big deal for you then this is a good product to have i really do like it i really like a sleek design i really do like it and i'm going to keep using it especially during the summer i think that's the perfect um product to use during the summer where you're you, you have makeup on but it looks very natural it looks very glistening kind of so yeah i'm gonna keep using it um so let's uh talk about my rating breakdown and first of all is performance on performance, I'm going to give it a whole point because it does perform as it claims. It doesn't claim to be transfer proof or sweat resistant, so that is why obviously it comes off. It doesn't claim about how long it can last, so I'm glad that I didn't make claims that it does not match with its performance. Um, next is price, and I'm going to give it a 0.75 because I think the quantity versus the price is a little bit mm, um, kind of like a an offsetting thing for me personally for longevity and convenience i'm going to give it a whole point because even though it's not intended to be like that it does give you a lot of longevity i think i was out for like five or six hours it's really convenient to use definitely for all the reasons that i listed in my likes um and then there's recommendation and repurchase i am going to give it half a point because i don't recommend this product for everyone because i know minimalist uh, foundation and uh, concealer is not everybody's thing um, a lot of people like full coverage foundations and this may not be it for them this will not be it for them definitely because that's not their ideology anyways so for those people no maybe try something else but for people who prefer light to medium coverage and stick foundation and quantity is not a big deal for you then this is a really good product to have and then there is special features um i'm gonna give it a 0.75 on that because i don't i'm not exa exactly crazy about the quantity that's the that's a big issue for me uh, otherwise this product is really good i really like it i'm really glad that they sent this to me and i'm really honored that they sent this to me um but that's it so that brings my total felicia score to a four out of a five um and i really think that this is a good product it may not be for everybody but it is definitely a good product and i i am actually looking forward to use it more in during the summer so that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if there's something else that you want me to review then let me know in the comments and i will definitely try it out for you guys and review it for you but that's it for me today thank you if you want to watch more videos just go to my page and you can see a whole bunch of different videos